Okay, so first off, before we get started with this, we need to set up a project within Unity. So we go File, New Project. I'm going to set this to a specific place on my Mac, and I'll tell you why. I usually go Mac Hard Drive, Users, Shared, and then I made a directory called Unity, and this is where I place all my weird stuff just related to Unity. So it's, it's more of a keeping clean thing. Also, with your shared directory, you can share it out with the other computers rather easily on your network. Okay, and here I will call this um, Rotate Tool, okay? Because once you make this, you can apply it to any model whatsoever. So it's not model specific. It's, it's uh, totally, you can change it to anything else. Uh, save scene, rotate. And I'm going to put rotate within standard assets. That was just act, asking me about uh, the previous scene I had open. So what this will do, it'll import all the uh, standard assets that come with Unity. I don't think we're going to be using too many of them, but it's nice to have the folder A locations. So here's my standard assets, and you can see that I have fonts, particles, scripts, and I'm missing one in here. So I'm going to create a new folder called Objects. Okay, and I can move that one down if I wanted to into standard assets, just like that. So objects, I could make that I could make that folder right in ZBrush too. But let's go into ZBrush real quick, and here's my model. I want to use the export feature down here, and I want to definitely have merge on. Okay, so here's my. Rotate tool, assets, standard assets, and then I got objects. There we go. Okay, so armor with no smooth. And I'll, I'll explain that here in a second. All right, so in here, in Unity, I have now my objects, and that's going to import in. It's going to update automatically, and there's my OBJ. Now that's very nice. I don't know about uh, most game, well I know about most game engines, but this game engine is almost stupid simple. Because if you could think about it, it just automatically converted it to um, something that the engine understands, OBJs. And he here's the kicker, it understands Maya files, OBJs, FBXs, um, and I think 3D Studio Max files too. So you do not have to be um, the complete nerd hacker that you once w had to be to uh, get anything within the engines nowadays. It triangulates the model for you. It has to be triangulated. All right, not bad. Uh, Alt, first mouse button, will rotate around. Alt, Command, will pan or zoom out. Okay, and Alt, middle mouse button, will pan around. Just as a crash course, in case you're just watching this, interested in producing a rotate tool for online. Okay, this little guy, he's your camera. He's probably the most important one out of the bunch right now. So if I was to jump into my camera, let's go to web, 600 by 450. You would not see the model because he is, in fact here okay now I could rotate the model around I'm going to jump into Y real quick and rotate this around and I'm just going to start it because I can actually just type in uh, uh, negative 90 degrees nope negative 180 and there we go he's now turned around also it's nice to Take and zero him out. There we go. Now that he's zeroed out, 
I didn't want to move the camera. I didn't want to rotate the camera because that'll screw up, you know, easy things to access later on. Here's another thing that we need to do. Add a light. So create other directional light. And there's my really, really bright directional light. And this is not about modeling, texturing, or anything else. I'm just simply showing you how to get a model in here and have it spin around. So as far as material goes, we'll cover that a little bit later. Uh, just let's concentrate on the model itself. This camera, uh, why it's so far away, it's got a field of vision. So if I wanted the field of vision to come closer, I could do that. So what I essentially wanted to do is just something very simple like this. I want it to rotate the model around just like that. But I want the user to click a button to do that. Okay, negative 180 again. And there we go. So we're going to title this video importing a mesh into Unity. And then in the next video, we'll start uh, building onto that.